All right, in this video, I'm going to be working out an individual integral. We're going to be working out the integral of x over 1 plus square root of x dx. Initially, you might think that, okay, you're going to look at that, and possibly a u substitution is going to work. And so you would probably look at that denominator and try letting u be the square root of x. So that's the approach we will start out with here. So we're going to let our u equal square root of x. All right, then I'm going to take the derivative of both sides. So du is equal to taking that derivative. Hopefully everybody can do that. It's going to be an x to the 1 half. So that would turn out to be a 1 over 2 square root of x dx. And then I'd multiply both sides by that 2 square root of x. 2 square root of x du is equal to my dx right there. Okay, then I would come up here and I would start replacing. Now initially, you might just go, okay, well, use square root of x there. So you might leave the x there initially at the top and go 1 plus u. And then replacing that dx with what it is. So 2 square root of x du. All right, and then you're going to look at this and then you go, okay, well, all my x's didn't cross out, so I have a problem. All right, now, keeping in mind, we did say that u equals the square root of x. And if you weren't paying attention, you might not have substituted a u in right there. But then I would still have the x here. So since I already have defined u equaling the square root of x. If I just solve that equation for x, so in other words, if I were to square both sides of that equation, the square root and the uh, square there would go away, so that would leave me with a u squared equals x. All right, and so that's going to be a way now to get rid of that x as well. Okay, so now making those additional substitutions, I'm going to have the integral of... Um, u squared over 1 plus u times 2 square root of x being u du. Okay, now at this point I can pull the 2 out. I can go ahead and multiply that u squared and u. So then I'm going to have a 2 on the outside. Integral of u to the third over 1 plus u du. Now at this point Probably the easiest approach is going to be to take this rational function and probably just do long division to come up with a polynomial. All right, so I'm going to try that um, long division over here. Now, with that being a u to the third, and I've got a, a 1 plus u here or u plus 1, I can switch it around either way. Um, to make that long division a little bit easier, I'm going to add all those extra terms like a 0x squared. 0u uh, squared plus 0u plus 0. That way it'll make the long division a little bit easier here. So we'll put the u plus 1 on the outside. And then on the inside, I'm going to go u to the third, but then so that we see exactly how far this long division has to go, plus 0u squared plus 0u plus 0. That's going to just help with this long division. All right, u is going to go in to u to the third u squared times. I'm going to place it above the u squared right there. That's going to show me exactly how many divisions or how far out I have to do this. All right, u squared times this binomial. All right, so it's going to be minus the quantity. u squared times u will be u to the third. u squared times 1 is going to be a u squared. It's minus this quantity. All right, so these two obviously are going to cross out. 0 minus u squared is going to give me a negative u squared. We're going to bring down that 0u just to help with a little placeholder right there. All right, now u into negative u squared is going to be minus u. Again, putting it above that column so that I know how far to continue to go out here. All right, now we are minusing the quantity. Negative u times u is going to be a negative u squared. Negative u times 1, negative u. All right, and then subtracting again here, negative u squared minus a negative u squared. Those are going to fall out, which is what we wanted to happen. 0 minus a negative u is going to leave me with a positive u. I'm going to go ahead and bring this 0 down just to help with placeholders. Okay, u into u goes one time. 
All right, 1 times this, okay, so minus the quantity. 1 times u is going to be a u. 1 times 1 is going to be a 1. I'm subtracting the quantity here. u minus u is going to fall out, which is what we thought was going to happen. 0 minus 1 is going to leave me with a remainder of negative 1. So then to finish this polynomial curve out, I'm going to write minus 1 over that dividend, which is u plus 1, okay? So this rational expression right here is equivalent to this polynomial curve, and that polynomial curve is going to be a whole lot easier to integrate than the rational function there. So I'm going to rewrite. We're going to do 2 and then times the integral of, I'm going to replace it here with a u squared minus a u plus a 1 minus 1 over u plus 1 du. All right, now this is um, this right here. Hopefully you recognize 1 over a quantity. That's going to integrate really, really nicely. This part is just a polynomial curve, so I can break these into two separate integrals. So that 2 is going to be out here. I'm going to add an extra set of parentheses here because it's 2 times this entire integral. So the integral of u squared minus u plus 1 du minus the integral of 1 over u plus 1 du. All right, breaking it into those two integrals then is going to make it a lot easier. Now I think I'm actually ready to integrate, so I'm going to have a 2 here. All right, integrating there, I'll have a 1 third u to the third minus integrating here, 1 half u squared, and then plus a u. All right, and then minus, hopefully you're going to be able to do this integral in your head. If not, you could pull it over to the side and do a u substitution. All right, but with that being a 1 and a u plus 1, everything's positive in there. Um, it's just going to integrate really nicely into the natural log, absolute value of u plus 1. All right, and then we'll have the plus c because I actually did the integration right there. All right, now going ahead and let's replace u with what we said it was going to be. u is equal to the square root of x. So 2 times, let's go ahead and work this out here. Let's see, 1 third square root of x to the third minus 1 half square root of x squared plus square root of x minus natural log absolute value square root of x plus 1, and then the plus c there on the end. All right, now going through and simplifying some of this, square root of x squared, that's going to give me an x. Square root of x to the third will go down to an x square root of x. Now, if you need to do that on scrap paper, you could pause the video, check me just to make sure everything's right there. And we need to distribute that 2 to every term. So doing all that simplifying in this last step here, we'll have a 2 thirds x square root of x minus 2 times a half. That'll make that go away. So right there, that term will just be an x plus the 2 square root of x minus the 2 natural log absolute value square root of x plus 1 and then plus c. All right, so just one individual integral there, kind of showing you um, a variety of different substitutions in order to get everything gone, and then how to handle this kind of tricky integral right here. And like I said, the easiest way is just to do a long division, come up with an equivalent expression so that it is something that is easier to integrate. Definitely, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.